Hey there YouTube, this is Samaris Hunter and I will be bringing you my Cybers deck profile as of uh, August 29th post um, power code link structure deck. I decided to do something different for this deck profile instead of just overwhelming you all with constant upgrades to this deck as over the past few months we've received a lot of upgrades to this deck I decided to just do one really big one capturing all the new monsters and all the new spells and traps that will be used in this deck additionally unlike normal deck profiles which seem to either do one of two things either A create an entirely ritual based deck involving cybers monsters or B just a plain old cybers deck with no ritual monsters in it whatsoever I will actually be fusing both of them together utilizing both ritual and cybers and believe it or not it actually works quite well I am surprised at how effective it is so anyways let's move on to the deck profile first I run one Bitteron, Digitron, and Protron I feel like this deck just wouldn't be the, be a good cybers deck without these three plus all three of them are searchable and can be used in any combination so long as you have the means to bring them out plus they're normal monsters which is nice as it helps you get out link spider or you can use them to bring out Link Disciple or Link um, Devotee. Next I run 3 Lady Debug. She is one of the most useful cards in this deck. Her effect is that if this card is normal special summon, you can add one level 3 or lower Cybers monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Uh, Bitteron, Digitron, Protron, Prompt the Warn, Sea Archiver. There, there's a lot of level 3 or lower monsters in this deck, so there is no reason why you can't use this monster. But one of my favorite combos is to summon her to the field, then add one backup secretary to my hand, and then special summon backup secretary because, well, I control a Cybers monster. Next, I run three of the new, and I have been waiting for this one, Cybers Gadget. I like the design to this little guy. He's also incredibly useful. As his effect is that when this card is normal summon, target one level two or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position, but its effects are negated. That's why I, this card is why I run um, Bitteron and Digitron and Protron because there's no effects, ergo nothing can be negated. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one gadget token. It is a Cyber's Light Attribute level 2 with attack and defense of both being 0. However, you can only use this effect as Cyber's Gadget once per turn. Now, bear in mind that this effect takes place anytime it's taken off the field. So if it's bounced, used as link material, tributed, or just destroyed by a battle or card effect, you get a gadget token. There is no reason why you can't run three of this guy. He's just way too useful. Next I run three Balancer Lord. Because, why not? <laughs> Balancer Lord has the effect that you can once per turn pay 1000 life points. During your main phase this turn, you can normal summon one Cyber Monster in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only use this effect once per turn. Additionally, if this card is banished, special summon one level 4 lower monster from your hand. You can only use that effect once per turn. Uh, Cynet Back to War is actually a really good card to use to get this effect off as you can pretty much banish, banish balance of lord then pop another level 4 lower cybers monster onto the field 
Of course, is the ability to normal summon twice per turn is really useful, provided, of course, you have the life points to spare. Next, I run two of the new Widget Kid. Much like Lady Debug, you will probably be using this kid a lot. I'm only running two because three felt a little clunky, and I don't like clunky. Its effect is that if this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one Cyber's monster from your hand in defense position. One of my really big combo plays involves using Widget Kid's effect to special summon your um, Lady Debug, then using Lady Debug's effect to get ba a backup secretary into your hand, special summon the backup secretary, and then link into Transcode Docker. It is a really, really good combo. And speaking of backup secretary, I run two of her. Basically, you can special summon her if you control a uh, Cybris monster. The only downside is you can only use this effect once per turn. So, it's a thing. Next, I run two Cromp Thorn. This card is amazing. As you can tribute one level four lower Cybers monster, special summon any number of Cybers normal monsters from your deck and or graveyard whose total level equals the tributed monster's level on the field, but banish them during the end phase. You can only use the effect of Prompt Thorn once per turn. So you can tribute any Cybers monster from your deck and pop out normal monsters equal to its level. The best part about this card is that even though it says that they'll be banished at the end of the turn, that only applies if you don't use them on the field. If you link summon or tribute summon with them, the effect doesn't really go off. Or I could be wrong about that. But I don't think I am. Now, it wouldn't be a Cybers deck without a Cybers Ritual deck without two Cybers Magicians. I thought about running one Cybers Magician and one Paladin of the Storm Dragon, but I figured eh, I like Cybers Magician a bit more. Plus his effect is amazing. You can Ritual summon this card using Cybernet Ritual. Any damage you take is halved. However, you cannot have the same damage twice this way. So if you control two of him the effect only goes off once, that damage is only halved once. It's kind of a bummer, but whatever. While you control a Link Monster, your opponent control the no Link Monster. Monsters your opponent control cannot target monsters you control for attacks except Cybers Magician. Monster your opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects except Cybers Magician. If this card battles a Link Monster, it gains 1000 attack during the damage calculation. And if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, add one Cybers monster from your deck to your hand. Having damage, being a pretty good brick wall, and pretty much gain and pretty much gaining an advantage over link monsters. In addition to if it being destroyed by card effect, you get to add you get the plus one cybers. It is a really good ritual monster. I have little to no complaints. Next I'm running one C Archiver. I'm really just testing it out. I kind of don't like it, but so far it's the only useful monster that I can think of to keep in this deck, so I guess it'll stay for right now. Its effect is that if a monster is normal or special summon to a zone a Link monster points to, except during the damage step. You can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when this summon resolved, or hand, even if not, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use the effect to see archival once per turn. Its effect is fairly straightforward. No need to go into detail. Next I run one boot staggered. If you perform a normal summon this turn, special summon him. When he attacks, get one boot token. 
For me, it's a never-ending effect machine for Power Code Talker, and I'll explain why when we get to Power Code Talker. There we go. Next, I want to run one copy of both Ram Cloud of Ram Clouder and Rom Cloudia. Sorry for the glare. Kind of fixing things. And here, um, the Ram Clouder, Tribute One Monster, Target One Cybers in the Graveyard, Special Summon It. And Round Rom Claudia, when this card is normal summoned, Target One Cybers in the Graveyard, except Rom Claudia, add it to hand. If it's destroyed by Battle or Card Flight, Special Summon, one level four lower Cybers monster from your deck. Both effects are fairly straightforward. Next, I run one Dotscaper. Again, sorry for the glare. If it's in the graveyard, special summon it, banish it. If it's banished, special summon it. You can use both effects once per duel. So, because of that, there's no point in running more than one copy of Dotscaper. Stack Reviver. I also run one of it. Yeah, it's been a while since you've seen this guy. If this card is used in the material for Link Summon, target one, o one other level 4 lower Cyrus monster in the graveyard that was used as material for Link Summoning. Special Summon in defense position. You can only use this effect once per duel. Just like with Dotscaper, because of that little ending, no point in running more than one copy of, Link of Stack Reviver. Next, I run one D Grade Buster. I thought about running two, but. That would mean banishing four Cybers monsters, and that's usually never a good idea. So just one works. You cannot be normal summoner set, but let's first be special summon from your hand by banishing two Cybers monsters from the graveyard. You can target one monster your opponent controls with a higher attack than this card. It is considered a quick effect. Banish it until the end phase. So if there's a really stubborn monster you want to get rid of, and it happens to have more attack than D Grade Buster. Banish it. Of course, it returns at the end of the turn, but at least it's out of your hair for a little while. I know this is a bit unprofessional, but. That's it for the monsters. Moving on to the spells. I run three Cyanet back doors. Basically, you banish one Cybers monster. Then you add another. Then you add a Cybers monster from your deck or to your hand, whose attack is less than the monster's original attack. Then during your next standby phase, return that banished monster to the field, but it can attack directly that turn. Because of its banishing effect, I like to use it mostly on um, a Balancer Lord, so I can use its banish effect. And I get to add another mo Cybers monster from my deck to my hand, which is always nice. Next, I run two of the new field spell, Cyanet Storm, which I really like the artwork too. All linked monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. Link summonings cannot be negated. Once per chain, if you take 2,000 or more battle or effect damage, shuffle the face down cards in your extra deck. Excavate the top, and if it is a Cybers Link Monster, special summon it. Otherwise, return to the extra deck. My extra deck is filled with nothing but Cybers Monsters. There's no way that secondary effect can fail. And also, I run two Cynet Recovery. Basically, if a Link Monster is destroyed, special summon a Cybers Monster that is not a Link Monster from the graveyard in defense position. And of course, because we have Cybers Magician, it would make sense that we would run two Cyanet Ritual. I thought about running one, but then I figured, eh, why not just run two? You know, even it out. Uh, this card can be used to ritual summon any Cybers ritual monster, which means there might be more on the way. You can also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total levels equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster you're summoning. 
If you control no monsters, you can banish this card and add one ritual monster from your graveyard. Special summon two Cyanet tokens. Both are level four with no attack or defense. But you can only use the effect. This th you cannot use this effect to turn this into the graveyard. It's actually got a really nice effect. I like it. Next, we I run one Soul Charge. Pay 1,000 life points for each monster you special summon back from the graveyard. Very straightforward. And I run one, and I'm ever so grateful for its return. Reborn the monster. Or Monster Reborn. And it allows you to special summon one monster from, your gra from yours or your opponent's graveyard. Not entirely sure why they brought it back, but I'm ever so grateful they did. That's it for the spells. Now, I only run two traps. The first trap is Packet Link. And during the main phase two, special summon any number of level two or lower monsters with different names from your hand, deck, or graveyard to zones a Link monster points to. Its effect is actually really straightforward. And lastly, I run one Cyanet Regression. Whenever you link summon a monster, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, draw one card. Oh, it's any card. Never mind. That's it for the main deck. On to the extra deck. I run one Firewall Dragon. This card is up in the air right now, so if it's not in the next deck profile, then that means it was added to the banned list. Which is kind of upsetting, considering it will be the first ace monster to a protagonist to the main protagonist that has ever hit the ban list. Its effect is that um, once while face up on the field, you can target monsters on the field and/or graveyard up to the number of monsters co-linked to this card. Return them to the hand. If a monster this card points to is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard, special summon one monster from your hand. It's actually got a really nice effect. Next, I run one Deco Talker. It gains 500 attack points for every monster that's linked that it points to. When a bot card effect is activated, you can tribute one monster this card points to, negate the activation, and destroy the card. I run one Inco Talker. Uh, once per turn, before damage calculation, if this mon a monster this card points to battles an opponent's monster with higher attack, you can make that monster unable to be destroyed by the battle, and you take no battle damage. And then you can select either this card or another monster this card points to to gain attack equal to the attack of the battled opponent's monster until the end of this turn. So it provides a nice negation effect and a power boost. Next, I run one X Code Talker. And this card, on this card is Link Summon. Choose unused main monster zones equal to the number of monsters currently in the extra monster zones. These zones cannot be used while this monster is face up on the field. You can only use this effect once per turn. Monsters this card points to gains 500 attack and cannot be destroyed by card effects. I mostly use it for its power boosting effect and its link mark and its link markers. But its blocking effect is pretty cool. I run one power code talker. And um, essentially once per turn you can target one face up monster on the field, negate the card's effect the monster's effects. And once per turn if this card battles an opponent's monster, during damage calculation, it is a quick effect. You can tribute one monster this card points to. This card's attack becomes double its original attack during that damage calculation. This is why I use Boot Staggered in combination with this card. I let Boot Staggered attack, I get the Boot Token. Then I target another monster with Power Code Talker, tribute the Boot Token, and instant double attack. It's a never ending cycle so long as both remain on the field. I run one Trans Code Talker. If it's co-linked, 
All of it and its co-linked monsters gain 500 attack. Cannot be targeted with card effects. You can target one link three or lower cyber slink monster in the graveyard, except transcode talker. Special summon it to the zone this card points to. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, but you activate this card, except cybers monsters. So it grants itself and any co link monsters a power boost. Plus, it allows you to return one link three or lower monster from the graveyard to the field, so long as it's cybers. You can't special summon monsters except cybers, but that's not a problem with this deck. Honestly, it's a really good card, and I can't wait for the last one, Shooting Code Talker, to be added. I run one Trigate Wizard. I'm not really going to go into its effect very well, much, but I mostly use it for its first effect, which is one co link monster equals double damage. Two co link monsters means target one card on the field and banish it. Three co link monsters is when a card or effect is activated, negate the activation and banish the card. So instead of the. So it just straight up gets rid of it. It doesn't destroy it, it just banishes it. It's gone. Which is really funny. To help out with my ritual summoning, one Cyber Witch. When a monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to. Banish a spell card from the graveyard, add one Cybers Ritual monster, and one sign that ritual from your deck to your hand. Additionally, if this effect was activated, target one level 4 or lower Cybers monster in the graveyard, special summon it. You run one Pentastag, monster it, and monsters that it, control, that it points to can deal piercing, fairly, fairly straightforward. One underclock taker. Uh, once per turn, target one face up monster this card points to, and one face up monster your opponent controls. The opponent's target loses attack equal to the attack of the target of monster this card points to. <laughs> this allows you to deal major damage to your opponent, especially if you use it in combination to power code talker. So, really cool effect. I'm not even going to try saying this name, so we'll just call it Land Dragon. Pretty sure I butcher it. I run one Link Devotee. Basically, during the turn this card is Link Summoned, you cannot special summon any more monsters. And if it is tributed, get two Link tokens. And to help out with that tributing effect, I use one Link Disciple. Tribute one monster, draw a card, but place one card under your hand back to the to the top of your or bottom of your deck. One link spider. And because I like it, one link Kribo. When your opponent uh, attacks, tribute, change that opponent's monster's attack to zero until the end of this turn. If it's in your graveyard, tribute one level one monster. Special summon this card. And that's it for my deck. I don't know when the next deck profile will be released, but keep your eyes peeled for it. And thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and remember, like, comment, and subscribe, please. It will help me out big time, and I would love you for it.